to BS Live. Um, today, I just uh, want to talk about um, this new update of tissue add-on. Currently, it's version 3.30. Um, Alessandro actually made a YouTube tutorial about it uh, and, and how in this version you can you can have shape keys that you can actually instance or tessellate into surface surface of objects. And I want to try that um, very, very quickly. And also on top of that, um, you, you, you can use Blender uh, 2.8 Foxel Remesure and that's actually really, really powerful. And I'll, I'm gonna show you how, so how and why. So uh, I started with a, with a box and I subdivided it like that, like two times. And I simply apply it. I'm gonna save this as tissue shape key. And the next thing I will do, I will create another cube and I will simply kind of extrude this. Um, so I, I switch to edit mode by hitting tab and switch to face and probably delete, uh, kind of reshape the top part first. Uh, make it looking like, like that. And the bottom part, I'm just gonna delete X places. So we have something like that. Gonna make another one, just duplicate this guy, and then reshape it. Ah, uh, just make it slightly different, and then another one. Um, probably the effect is going to be even better if you actually if you use like a branching so currently this is just kind of extrude extruding up so this one's a little bit fatter yeah so it's three different shapes and I will tessellate this into this guy from what I know, um, the tessellate doesn't work with multiple components. Let me check. I have this is the older versions that I have. I have to delete. This is the new one, and I will apply the shape keys into this guy. So one, two, three, F three, join as shapes. So this guy, this is the components with a. Uh, with shape keys. Also known as blend shape in Maya. So if you want this to go in there, so this is the, the master, this is the component. Scale this eight times. Control A, apply all transform. So select this component and the, the master. Go into the tissue add-on. Tessellate. Now we have a lot of options. Uh, we don't worry about the, the old options. I'm just gonna jump into advanced settings and use use shape keys. There is a this option also to repeat, but for now, I just hit OK. Uh, so what do we get here? So that's the result. It doesn't look like anything until we play around with the shape keys. Um, I wonder if this uh, shape keys thing is still kind of alive. So we can, we should actually have uh, one where this guy is simply just being stretched out. So let's delete this, make another one. <clears throat> Select this guy and then stretch it up Oops, I should always have this on so we can select the one at the back. There's a better way to actually doing this. Okay, and F3 join as shapes. So we have now another shape so that's simply pulling this or extend it up. Um, maybe also I can just edit this guy. Make it 
um, slightly out or slightly slightly different okay so oh yeah a better a better way actually to do this actually in, uh, if I didn't do that so I see this one simply extending it and then so better ways to so that they kind of can combine with each other it's gonna be better result so select the components and then the master and once again tissue add-on tessellate advanced settings on your shape keys okay so now we have this result and we can animate the result i wonder if they're kind of connected with each other or they are kind of separate but uh, that's okay um, a better a better test late um, result is actually when the component is kind of touching each other so you you get a complete uh, closed surface but this is a uh, kind of the what I want to show you and um, on top of this of course we have the original surface and then normally they are kind of separate and you can perhaps boolean them etc um, but you can you can actually join them right I just join them and we still have the shape keys which is nice so we can have uh, different shapes with the shape keys you can even kind of activate uh, turn on and off the the relative and then change the minimum and maximum if you like to kind of push it out like really far or less it's totally up to you you can you can kind of overdrive the shapes and on top of this there's actually one more thing that i want to show you so i'm making a different result just uh, simply by combining all these shapes So if I turn off relative, you see, it's kind of evaluating all of the blend shapes. So we have a lot of flexibility here. Um, oh yeah, before I forgot, if I duplicate this and then go into sculpt mode, I can uh, simply use a remesh, voxel remesher remesh and wait a few seconds um, you don't actually need to go to oops that's actually kind of go back to the original which is uh, which is interesting that's uh, actually my point like um, this guy okay let's just use this for example shape keys is actually something that um, so if I have this and kind of want to combine them, Control J. There are single objects. Still have shape keys. Um, object mode sculpt. It's gonna go back to the original if I'm not wrong. We need to somehow apply the, the shape keys. So I need to be careful with that. Let me turn off animation nodes for that to kind of provide a safe S. Okay, let me apply this actually. Um, Delete all shape keys, I think. Yeah, delete all shape keys. No, it's applying the shape keys, and then you have two options. Uh, interesting that that guy is just become ghost space become this guy. That's interesting. Sculpt then. I, th I think I just found a bug. But you can go to sculpt mode because I'm, I'm using a uh, Blender 2.8 Alpha. 
and you can go here there's actually a remesh this guy is hiding inside um, sculpt mode but it's also available here which is very interesting so you can you can do voxel remesh and if you are using tissue and voxel remesh suddenly you have a way to generate a complex um, 3d geometry um, that works um, that works like a voxel like a 3d actual 3d instead of just a surface I have a feeling I have I have multiple objects here so they're kind of on top of each other that's why this is a uh, processing like really really slowly you can see there's like a there's something underneath of the mesh probably gonna leave that oh yeah I see goes back to normal which is again is a you might find it kind of weird I think I have overlapping surface somehow let me try doing it once again so we have these guys apply the subdivisions cannot be applied with a mesh with shape keys all right so we need to delete the shape keys delete all shape keys so we, lo we lost that and then apply the subdivision here yep I think that's a bug that's a bug with a blender 2.8 2.81 oh well but uh, basically to kind of uh, convert the shape keys into a mesh that we can do a voxel remesh Oh, that's weird let's turn it off I have a feeling we have another objects inside this but now it's gone right and delete all shape keys so we, we have we don't have shape keys anymore I'm gonna try to select both of these combine no mesh to join yeah um, I should be able to sculpt this anyway go to go to sculpt mode say it goes back into this guy very strange so let me try with this guy duplicate it and then delete all shape keys let's see if this one yeah goes back to original yeah that's why that's why this is still alpha uh, so my trick is to use animation nodes it's really weird but uh, you can do it this way mesh data let's get this object mesh data which is already have shape keys and then we're gonna create a target object data output object where's the object output Mesh object output create a new target plug in the mesh into there you should have a target and the mesh okay so this guy actually have the mesh bake properly I think so if I delete this and go to sculpt mode 
it's okay. So it might be a bug of Blender 2.81 or could be a bug of tissue add-on because this is exactly what I want. It's a bake mesh and you can now do a sculpting. So like I said, you can use this uh, sculpt mode remesh. No, it's remesh, right? It's all good. You can also use the one in here, remesh, 0 0.0. Uh, let's let's try 0 0.5 voxel remesh, and you have that. So, um, what I really want to show you. Let me undo that. This is a good good mesh and we have the original sphere there reset the position duplicate this select all of them and simply kind of boolean them together ctrl j and then remesh so this is a good surface it's clean it's not like uh, it's not uh, like it has weird man non manifold or anything. That's a remesh. Oh, that's actually a bit too high density. Yeah, it's too high. 0 0.2. Ah, okay, that's good. So, this is again. So, if you have multiples of this, and then if you combine them, uh, with array or maybe even with this guy if we go back um, and try to make some changes so instead of using all those I'm gonna duplicate this guy and give, uh, show the wireframe so you can see what's going on here just gonna extrude that way It up now I can try to combine this I just make a gonna make two shape keys this guy and this guy this one will have this phrase kind of being extended stand it up this one's being extended like that we can at any point kind of extrude this and so make like a kind of like a connecting stitch can be interesting select this select this f3 join as shapes and actually before i do that let's let's actually make this as well um select the face extrude extrude that way duplicates and with this I'm gonna scale it okay F3 join as shapes, select this guy, and so we have. Uh... Ah, okay, so that's the that one's wrong. Alright, so now let's go back to this is a good one. This is a target from animation nodes. Select the master, select the component, select the master, tessellate. Advanced settings, use shape keys. We can also use the weight thing for morphing, but uh, just do it like that for now. So, with this guy, we have the ability to kind of extend, extend the tessellations, which is also really cool. 
Um, let's move this to the side. As you can see, this is quite intricate objects with extend, and then also let's all like offer drive the results. You can extend and kind of you can connect or disconnect. That's what I'm trying to show you. So let's use animation nodes once again. Object mesh data input. Uh, turn off world data, use modifier maybe, mesh data, object, mesh, object, output, create an, uh, another target, plug in the mesh, turn it on, so it's practically it's baking the shape piece, and now we have this, they're kind of interconnected, this is the original master object, That's the target. We can voxel remesh. Um, seems like it's not doing anything. Um, so that's a bit weird. Let's try control one. I was expecting it to mesh, so let me try 0.05 for survey mesh. Hopefully this one works. I have a feeling because it's got hole inside it, it doesn't work. So we need to have something underneath but I, I i kind of wanted to make this mesh open another blender maybe file open file save as oh actually animation notes okay we have animation notes we need to delete this So they're kind of touching each other. If I what if if I close all the holes underneath and then try to remesh it again? Fingers crossed. Yeah, it works. So you need some kind of hole. But now you can see this. We have a quite intricate objects, and it's simply something that comes from just a basic uh, sphere and also our tessellate objects so we can, we can delete some yeah, this is the original right and we simply use these components and then now we end up with something like this it can be smoother of course you can uh, you can even do something something else but you can make changes very very easily and you're gonna get a different result so that's actually my point like even this guy over here is like so meshy so meshy like but you can turn it into you can voxel remesh it basically i can i can push prove it to you once again i need this uh, object mesh that uh, in uh, in animation node somehow otherwise it crashes Okay, uh, did I create a new target object? Uh, yeah, turn off wall space. So I accidentally create a wrong object. Where's the result? Yeah, I find this to be actually weird, quite weird. 
So cube two and where's target number two? There is no target number two. Delete that. Create a new target. Plug in the mesh. Use modifiers. All right. We don't have modifier, but the shape key is like modif modifier. So I think that's why it's crashing because that's kind of like a bugs or something that's animation notes handle it properly but a uh, blender because shape keys is different it's not modifier normally shape keys is over here ah very interesting i should report this to blender developers i think but once we get this clean clean surface that we can modify further like use wireframe maybe 